Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come together, spend a few moments in God's Word and pray. This week we'll be talking about trials and challenges. Each one of us as believers, we will go through tri trials and challenges. But how we look at them is what is important. Psalms 119 verse 50 through 56. This is comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud have me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remembered your judgments of old, O Lord, and have comforted myself. Indignation has not taken hold of me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine because I kept your precepts. Our natural instinct is to think that suffering destroys. Not only does it cause physical and emotional pain, but it can poison our attitudes with anger, jealousy, bitterness, and so on. We may even start to blame God for the awful things that are happening around us, dragging others into our bitterness in the process. How then do we find comfort in suffering? David writes, My comfort in my suffering is this, your promise preserves my life. In verse 52, he adds, I remember, Lord, your ancient laws, and I find comfort in them. In other words, we take our direction from the Word of God, which feeds our soul and calms our fears. Paul writes, but we also glory in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. So we can rejoice in our sufferings because it builds our character which will equip us for everyday trial that comes our way. God also comforts us through others. Paul speaks of a particularly difficult time in Macedonia when he says, we were harassed at every turn, conflicts on the outside, fears within. But God, who comforts the downcast, comforted us by the coming of Titus. Titus was a disciple of Jesus Christ and supported and encouraged Paul in times of need. We may be inclined to shut the world out when circumstances overwhelm us, but a willing spirit listens to a fellow believer and it's like a breath of fresh air reaffirming our faith. Above all, we can take comfort in an attitude of thankfulness to God. In our suffering, we can thank God for His presence and His and sufficiency in them. Paul tells us, do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving make your requests known to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus this is not a peace that we muster up ourselves but a peace derived from God it transcends human logic because we will find ourselves going about our days as though our problems have already been solved. We can endure through our darkest times because we are locked into the love of God. In Him, we are conquerors, not over our sufferings, but in our sufferings. Sometimes turn to family. Sometimes we turn to friends, doctors, therapists, pastors, self-help books. When all else fails, we turn to Christ as a last resort when indeed He needs to be our first resort. We can endure through our darkest times because of the love of Christ poured into our hearts. Let's pray. 
Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your love that is always available for us through every trial, through every season, through every challenge. Lord, we thank you that you will comfort and strengthen us on every side. We will give you glory and honor in our lives and in everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.